Hey folks, I'm out here at um, Bill's off grid solar cabin and uh, got blackberries everywhere here, so I'm gonna pick some, take them home with me. I'll take you along the way with me. Uh, some of the upgrades we did today is I got them a uh, high gain, low noise um, HDTV antenna, so they got like 43 channels out here. So, free TV at an off grid cabin, pretty cool. So let me show it to you. And uh, there it is. And uh, you can get that at antennadeals.com. It's like 60 bucks with free shipping and like a three-year warranty or two-year warranty or something like that. It's really, really good. Anyways, I am out here picking uh, wild blackberries. But I'm looking for the black ones. There's a black one back there. Safe. Well, there was more, but I've been eat. I've been eating them all. I'll have to show you that TV in a minute. Yeah, there's one back here. I don't know how well you can see that. There it is, right there, right in the middle. So I'm gonna get busy and get back to picking some berries. And we'll see you in a bit. I'll probably be eating berries inside, watching TV in a minute. So. These are the red ones. They're not quite done yet. Oh, it's too hard to eat. I thought I'd be able to get away with it, but I won't. These things are prickly. I should really be wearing uh, some pants, but it's too hot out. Now we are at an off-grid cabin. He's got solar panels and a wind turbine up there. So. Kind of path through here to get to get at them. That's good. I'm thinking the secret of success here is going to be cutting paths through here, so you can yeah. access more of them. But look what I found on the edges. Some good old wild wild edible plants. There's more. And there's more. These are absolutely just delicious. It's better than the stuff you get at the store. Way, way better. And it's actually better for you as well. Like I said, back to eating, eating these. Oh, this feels good. Oh, you're picking wild fresh fruit. I don't know how many are making it to the bowl, but I didn't look before I ate that one. It had some stems in it or something. Anyways, wild blackberries. Delicious. That's just sweet. This is free food. You'd be surprised um, if you just go out hiking how much uh, free food you can have even when I lived back up in New England, like Massachusetts, Maine, and New Hampshire, you go out for a walk in the woods and you'll be surprised how many just like, get this sun out of my eyes, how many wild grapes are growing out in the woods. You just got to be able to identify it. You can collect and make your own wine or just eat for free. It's free food. It's delicious and it's really good for you. This is way better than the stuff you get at the grocery store because it hasn't been radiated or pesticides or anything on it and those were cultivated so it was pretty easy for them these plants are out here growing wild so they had to struggle to survive and their berries are pa absolutely packed with nutrients way better for you this is organic and organic uh, plants are not as nearly as strong as the wild plants because they're basically taken care of and give them water every night, fertilizer. These plants had to struggle, so they have a lot more nutrients in their in their fruits, and it's just way better for you. And it, I, I can taste the difference. It tastes pretty good. It's nice to be able to get out and kind of be in the middle of the forest or the woods somewhere and experience freedom again. Like our forefathers used to have it before all these crazy laws and stuff started setting in. While I was out here, focus that, 
Looks like I found some wild carrot. I pulled it up. Um, I believe so. There's a few differences. I don't remember what they were offhand, so don't take my word for it. Because I don't remember, to be honest. But there's something that's, a few things that are easily confused with it. One is like poison something. I don't remember. But I remember one of the tricks I remembered was when you pulled it up. Pulled it up. If you smell the roots, if the roots smell like carrot, I believe it's carrot. And it smells just like a carrot. So, something I'll have to look up on. There's some tiny differences between what this can be confused as. But it's pretty cool. I'm like 95% sure I found wild carrot here. We're back inside. That number again is one eight hundred six one three eleven fifty seven. The blackberries are probably five pounds as many as I collected. Call now. So give you an idea how much Call now. could have been could have been saved. But I want you to meet you. Just go down and it needed nine hundred bucks quick. Got sweet tea here. So the next day, Rose is in the corner. Cash advance store and he stood in line. And he waited. And he waited. Jordan was watching TV off the grid. And then I'll create a solar cabin. I'll put the link down below for uh, Bill and Rose's channel. And you guys can check them out as they do work and I'll create the cabin. But let me show you the TV here. I got 43 channels off that TV antenna. I got I got them. Box. Yeah, I brought, I brought it for them. I got... I did really good with, um, I don't know, whatever, wherever you put the box. The box for the antenna. But I bought one, and, uh, he burned it. He probably did. Well, there's Bill from Off Grid Solar Cabin. I got a picture of it all. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, well. Sorry. It's all good. Anyways, um, I'll put a link down below where you can buy one, too. Yeah, check out uh, Bill and Rose's channel.